In this tutorial, we will learn about the preparation work for exporting motion data files. If you wish to learn more about creating motion files, please check the introductory tutorials. Let's start with selecting the correct target version. When you create a new animation file, a dialog box will pop up asking you to select target version. Select the appropriate SDK version for your new file. If the file is to be used in Unity, click the button on the left and anything else would be the other options on the right. Click OK when you are ready. If later in the process you wish to change the target version, select the scene, head to the inspector palette, and edit the target settings. Let's get our motion files ready to export. Once you open the animation file, check the scene name. The motion file will automatically take on the scene's name. It is recommended to finalize the name before you export. Next, let's check the keyframes. In the timeline palette, go to the model track. Click Live 2D parameter to expand the property group. For any motion files, we recommend adding a keyframe to the first frame. If a parameter does not have a starting frame, it would retain the parameter value of the last performed movement or animation. There is an exception to this. If your model has multiple animation files to run simultaneously, it would be better for each animation to clear the parameters of any keyframes that are not used. Otherwise, when multiple animations are combined in execution, the latter animation's keyframe would be prioritized, hence the movements may perform unexpectedly. The next step, we'll set the part swapping function for some texture parts. For models that have multiple part swaps, you can edit the preset for which animation shows which set of textures. For models that do not have a texture swap, you may skip this step. In the Live 2D Parts display, toggle on the property group and go to the parameter that operates the texture with swapping and insert a keyframe in frame 0. For the texture that needs to be in display, set the value to 100, and for the corresponding texture that needs to be hidden in this particular animation, set the value of the parameter to 0. Next, we will make expression motion files. The purpose of making expression motions is for it to be combined with other expression motions to generate more varieties, expanding the capacity of the model. In regards to creating expressions, the next topic, Cubism Viewer for Original Workflow, will get into more details. But for this episode, we will focus on how to create expression data files in the animation editor. Expression motions are created the same way as regular motion files. However, it would be easier to manage if these are made into a separate source file. Create a new scene for each expression. The length of the scene should be at least two frames. The expression should be keyed on the first frame. For expression motions, you only need to add keyframes to parameters that are required for that expression. Face angle turn and hair physics should be excluded, and thus their parameters do not require any keyframe. Additionally, parameters such as mouth open close, eyeball x, eyeball y may be used in face expressions. Meanwhile, they may also be used in motions for body animation. You want to plan ahead on how your application may mix and match face expressions and body animations. This completes the expression motion creation. That's all for this episode. In the next episode, we will talk about how to prepare and export a model and its animation files.